Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of your latest gaming news with myself, Amata. Today is the 2nd of December and I have some news for you regarding the PS4 as it has been suggested that the game streaming service, which of course goes by the name of Gaikai, is scheduled to launch in North America in the second half of 2014. Now this is according to a Eurogamer source and it's basically saying that Gaikai will roll out across North America in the third quarter of 2014, which is just ahead of the European launch the following year. Now, Eurogamer are also claiming that Sony is currently asking some developers to take part in a Gaikai beta, which is scheduled for early 2014. Now, Andrew House told Eurogamer, quote, We're on track to have a commercial service up and running in the US first within 2014. That remains the plan and we're very much on track to reach that. What's important to understand is the full scope of what we're trying to achieve and why we felt the Gaikai acquisition was important. Our goal is to be able to have a new form of game distribution streamed from the server side, initially to PS4 consoles and then gradually moving then out to the Vita. But eventually, the end game is to have this available on a multitude of network connected devices, essentially delivering a console quality gaming experiences which are not innately capable of doing that. And when he was asked if he could comment on the mooted 2015 release for the Europe, House replied, quote, I can't really be specific on the European rollout. It's a brand new form of delivery. We need to prove out the technology which we feel is good at its core, but we but we place, as I think it's right, a real emphasis on delivering a quality experience for consumers. And that will be dependent to a degree on what the strength of broadband connection is going to be and what our server deployment and infrastructure looks like. We're hard at work on all these fronts, but I'm not at a point right now where I can be specific about when our European fans are going to be able to enjoy that. So let's hope this little rumour is actually true, especially for those of us in Europe. Now, of course, they did say from the beginning that it was going to be coming out in North America first. And that the reasons that they've given now and previously do make sense. It's, again, the same logic behind why they released the console first in the US and then released it to Europe and the rest of the world a few weeks later. It's because, well... They only have to deal with any issues, problems, and so on in that, you know, localised area. I know it sounds a bit weird to say America is localised, but in comparison to the entire world, it is. You, you get what I'm trying to say. There's that one country who they've released it to, so if any problems arise due to broadband connection, something on the Gaikai side, or whatever, you know, the problems that could arise are pretty numerous. It's an online service. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it makes sense to me, and as much as it annoys me that this is the case, here in the UK, it, we don't have amazing broadband across the country. In some areas, you have really good internet. For example, Crimson Rain, who is, of course, my partner in crime here in RGT, has amazing internet. But other people who perhaps live in rural areas in the country, or just their provider doesn't go up to that high speed or whatever, they might not just have that option to have amazing internet. Their internet that's available to them is either going to be less reliable, slower, or even both. And it'll be the best service they have in their area, so there's not much they can do short of moving, which is a bit much for most people just for a better internet connection. And the same story kind of applies across Europe. Now, there are some countries that are kind of gods of the internet, like Sweden, for example. But some countries and areas of some countries, as I said, to struggle a little bit. Now the same is true with America but the infrastructure as a whole is there more and well not everyone has amazing internet there but I'd say the number of people is probably higher but that is of course just pure speculation and just kind of me talking you know it's not a fact that I've researched it's just something that I feel would be right. Now it is a bit frustrating that we have to wait so long, potentially. Of course, this isn't, is not confirmed at this time that this is going to, be going, to, going to be getting it. But if it's true that the US are going to get it in Q3 2014, I don't see us getting it before 
um, sort of the end of 2014, early 2015, it just it's not going to happen. If it ends up coming out earlier in the US, say like mid 2014, and perhaps even I don't know late spring, for example, that's not going to happen. But let's just throw it out there. Let's be let's be wild. Let's live dangerously, shall we? Um, you know, we're going to be getting it a few months afterwards, most likely, is the prediction. Three to four months after. And then, undoubtedly, there's going to be issues. So, it's a bit frustrating considering that this is going to be the replacement for the backwards compatibility issue of the PS4. Now, I personally didn't go PS3 last generation. That's mostly just due to the fact that I was poor and I couldn't afford it when it came out. So it would be nice for me personally to be able to play PS3 games on a PS4 because, well, I don't have one to actually play PS3 games on. So hopefully they will get confirmation soon from Sony as to how true this actually is, of course, at the moment. They're not commenting on the European launch, but it seems like we're going to be seeing it in North America around this time, if a little bit before. So I would not be surprised to see a early 2015 release or even later for those of us in Europe. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.